Hey everybody, it's me again, Phil here. Yet again, testing out another, you know, candy. Let's see if we can get some lights around here, shall we? Alright. Now, now that's better, huh? Anyway, another candy testing video. Tasting. I hope you can hear me clearly. Okay, we got it. Check this out. Candy, gummy worms. I think these are actually, um, relatively speaking, common things. I mean, sure, it's a different brand that I never tried out. The Albanese World's Best, they say. Gluten-free, fat-free, low sodium. Uh, yeah. But let's get real here. Uh, this is, um, as much as I do appreciate being given this gift... I'm pretty sure this is not like some exotic food I should be making a spectacle of or even videotaping myself eating. But yeah, it's candy. Uh, 12 flavor mini gummy worms. Gummy worms, those are always fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's exactly what you'd expect, I'm quite certain. Now, this odd thought came to me a little bit earlier tonight it's a stupid idea but uh what if there's such a thing as a dark burn like think about it you get a sunburn if you stay out in the light too long and you you know just irritates the skin burns it could risk skin cancer terrible but what if you stay in the darkness too long and then you get a dark burn and your skin is burnt in some other way. Of course, that's not how it works. That's just silly. I'm being silly. All right, let's try this out. You know, I'd be like one of those Marines and just open it with my bare teeth rather than using a knife. But I should think soldiers have access to knives combat knives and certainly I should have access to tools I'm not a caveman I'm literally recording this on a video anyway here it is opened up wide gosh I'm silly sometimes anyway gummy worms nice and, yeah, it's exactly what I thought it would taste like, gummy worms. We've all heard of these fun, wormy things. Candy, they're squishy, they're stretchy. They're nice. I, I, I should really research this a bit more, but there was that infamous story you heard about. Some sort of special gummy worm that was made... On it with different chemicals or something. They claimed it would be gluten-free and sugar-free, but then it would taste awful. And they made it enormous, huge. Like, like it's not a gummy worm. It's a gummy python. It's huge. You can't eat it all in one go. It'll, it'll fill up your mouth all the way. You'll just have to go suck, suck, suck. Could be a bit like a sex toy. I mean, it's got the right shape to it. I'm just saying. I mean, honestly, it looks like you're just sticking a dildo in your mouth. I'm just saying. That's, that's no good. Mm. Sure. I suppose this video isn't for kids. No, no, not really. But can you imagine a gummy worm so huge? It's like the size of a python, and you're just trying to shove it all in your mouth. Pardon me. Just adjusting something here. Good gummy worms. Labor Day weekend. This is fun. Nash. But, you know, it's gummy worms. It's exactly what you think it is. Gummy worms. 
delicious tasty mm. Mm. what do you suppose is going on in the world I mean like grim sort of things like yesterday I looked up on the news American news and Fox News. America is a wild place, I gotta tell you. Shootings and <laughs> guns and explosions and things and armed conflict every day. How do you live like that? I. And this one small town, they supposedly had shootings. Shocking. And campaign ads constantly from either side calling the other party absolutely terrible. And they're pointing their fingers like, how can you possibly think of voting for those people? Don't you know? Blah, blah, blah. Tell your congressman that this is not appropriate. Rah, 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 rah. Mm, good gummies. What's going on here? Social commentary. Hmm. Though they do get make good music in the United States, I gotta say. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm listening to music. KMFDM is pretty cool sometimes, but I don't, I don't always agree with their politics. I'm just saying. So, if you guys approve of anarchy and uh, lawlessness. You wouldn't mind if uh, people pirated your music, would you? Hmm? Just wondering. Funny how people flip-flop on that issue. How people, artists, music creators. You know, it's pretty darn silly looking when a so-called gangster rapper, he, uh things about all his crimes and he raps and he's he does all that and he talks about his crimes and then he has to go to speak to the public about not pirating his music and he lectures them and he tells them you can't do that you shouldn't do it you should be thinking about me and thinking about what's fair while i sing songs about crime mm. Very silly. Maybe I should stick one of these up my nose. Now it's a gummy booger. Well, this has been fun. Now it's a gummy cigarette. A gummy doobie. <laughs> I was never much into smoking. None, any kind, really. Tobacco, I was always told that was a bad idea. Cannabis, I was told that was illegal. And I didn't want to have anything to do with that. Then they legalized it here in Canada. And I'm thinking, okay, but doesn't that take away the mystique of it all? If it's not a secretive, unlawful sort of thing, then it's just not cool anymore. And I'm thinking maybe maybe people just won't be into it anymore if they don't think it's cool. Well, I know there is such a thing as cannabis gummies. If I was given some of those, I'd munch them down. But 
all these laws and regulations say, no, you can't quite do it like that. You have to buy from this particular store. And we have all these regulations and such and blah, 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 blah. And like, yeah. Yeah. I can see why uh, people don't think you're cool anymore. <laughs> Sad to say. Mm. Edibles, say they're, they're called. That'd be so cool. Uh, like, I could watch an absolutely shitty movie, but I'd enjoy it every minute because I'd be high as fuck and I'd have tripping balls and eating edibles and be all like, mm -hmm. Oh boy, I sure do like the new Star Wars movie. <laughs> oh, check it out. It's an Australian alien. <laughs> And, and then these, <laughs> I actually made a review just like that, in fact, a few years ago. And I'm like, ooh, ooh, look at Star Wars. Let me just hold up this knife in this one particular place with no sort of thing. And look, the shape, it exactly matches the wreckage of the Death Star. Isn't that a shocking coincidence? How do you know that? Like, why did you pick this particular vantage point? What does that even mean? It was all foretold. I know who you are. I'm Ray Skywalker. I'm Mary Sue. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'm the smartest character. I know everything and I do everything. Now, watch me eat a donut. <laughs> Finn is all depressed. And he's like, why did I leave the Empire to, for this? I'm just going to be bossed around by dumb women. <laughs> Disclaimer, I'm not sexist. I'm just saying these particular women characters are not very well written. There's Rose Tico. More like Rose Potato. The grumpy, frumpy space janitor. <laughs> And she's like, how dare you try to kill yourself for the cause? How dare you sacrifice your life to fight the Empire? Don't you know that's not how it works? It's like the Empire shoots a big cannon at the wall. It's like, I could have stopped that, Rose. Why did you stop me from doing that? Just Rose. I could have done that myself. I could have stopped that cannon, but now it's blasting the lasers at our friends. I'm like... Rose is like, we have to find another way. And when you think about it, two previous examples of that word actually did work. I think Luke Skywalker, yeah, he's he actually died because he's expended his life force creating some sort of illusion. And uh, what's her name? Admiral Holdo or something? It, it was this lady with purple hair and a long neck and gray robes. And she's like, I'm going to boss all the men around today. They're just a funny lady. <laughs> <coughs> Someone's force choking me. I can feel it. My sense of presence. A presence I have not felt in years. Yes. Skywalker. Anyway, and then the lady with her big long neck says, Officers, get this man off my ship. <laughs> He's like, but I'm a war hero. I help stop the enemies. He's like, I don't care. Get going. And the lady, she's like, this is leftist propaganda. We're always going to be mean and condescending to the men because that's just how we work. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying this very late review of Star Wars. <laughs> the Rise of Skywalker. The Rise of Skywalker. But really, I was like, why is it called The Rise of Skywalker if Skywalker died in the last movie? And I'm like, well, I'm right. I'm a Skywalker, too. I have the Force. I know all the ins and outs of technology. I can fly spaceships even though I've been stuck on this alien planet for years. Oh boy, oh boy. 
So tell me, Ray, what other things can you do? Well, I control the force. I can do things with the force that no one else has ever done before. I can use it to have telepathic relations with this guy who could possibly be my biological cousin. What? 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 Like, yeah, um, if... Well, here's the thing. Her name really should be Ray Palpatine because... Yeah, that's her biological grandpappy. Funny thing how um, these uh, very woke productions always seem to have daddy issues. And uh, issues with the grandparents and such like ladies, writers, people. I think you're projecting just a little bit. Mm. As to my shocking review. <laughs> anyway, I'm just rambling on political stuff. But, <laughs> guys, you've all heard it before. Like, it, you gotta, you gotta eat a lot of drugs. You gotta do drugs before you do enjoy any of these shitty movies. Because some of them are really crappy and dumb. And there's this Rise of Skywalker. And what was it? Was it the Last Jedi? Oh yeah, that one was terrible. Or maybe I'm getting all these names mixed up. But yeah, that was pretty stupid. Good eye, Franks. I'm the Australian alien. Let me help you out there, my good friend Claude, the depressed giant yellow space penis. <laughs> That's because what because that's what he looks like. Let's get real. <laughs> You've seen pictures. Like I'm not a penis. I'm just a slug with depression. Oh, what's your job? I'm the engineer. But you don't have hands. You can't manipulate anything. Ooh, that's why I'm so depressed and sad. You actually look at the uh, framing of that scene again. On the rebel base, you'll actually see the yeah, the slug guy. He he gives a big depressed look of disgust immediately after he sees two women hugging and kissing because they're a devoted lesbian couple and they need some representation in this movie. Okay, fine. <laughs> you know they make these scenes easy to cut out and edit when they, you know, ship them over to China where they're not quite as. Uh, Progressive about LGBT stuff. I'm just saying. You know it's true. Look in your heart. You know it's true. Disney. Disney. You're making such funny clown shows, Disney. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. What other stupid things happened in that movie? There was uh, clones of the Emperor just floating around in a giant pickle jar. Big green pickle jar. And su I suppose supposedly that other guy the guy with a messed up head he was a faulty clone or something of the Emperor or something. And then the guys that in the Rebel Alliance to say, somehow, the Emperor has returned. And I'm like, that's the best dialogue you can get? Okay. I know, we're going to lead a cavalry charge against the enemy. Where, exactly? In space, that's where. What? We're going to put our space horses, drop them on top of the enemy spaceship, and then they're going to ride around all horsey style. And, and we'll fight like that. And I'm like, dude, what are you doing? This is spacecraft. You shoot lasers. What? Oh, man. And then... 
And then the, all these woke people say, if you don't like this stupid movie, you are a bad person. Oh, you're the worst ever. Oh, you're, you're offensive. You're terrible. You're awful. If you don't like these stupid movies, you have to appreciate when we lecture you. And you know what else? Oh, man. Mm. What's that other one? More recent news? More recent news. There was this really stupid game called Dustborn. Not to be confused with Starborn. Or something. <sighs> Starborn was a science fiction game. I never got around to playing it because it's like... I don't know, man. I don't know. It just didn't look like my... It was for me. I don't know. But getting back to the point, Dustborn is, like, shocking, really. It's... You see, it's so full of left-wing and woke and really, like, really far-left sort of things. Like, so full of it. Like, to the point where I think it was actually almost a parody of Left Wings, and it was actually, ironically, the opposite, where, like, it was created by right-wing people to uh, poke fun at the left. Because here's the thing, un unironically, they do things that are, like, real-world harm, and depict themselves as the heroes of the story, doing things that are very much real world imitatable things from the real world let me explain cyberbullying cancel culture those are actually part of the game from what i've been told like for real like for real real and like and needless to say everyone has an annoying personality and everyone talks about all the things they identify with and they say oh if you dare think anything even slightly different from us, you're the bad intolerant person. Yes, you are the one who's being intolerant because you don't do everything we tell you and you don't think and act like us. <laughs> like, supposedly, that there's actually this um, one sequence in the game that's a fantasy series where they get so absolutely pissed off at a bunch of people who are like questioning vaccines and questioning lockdowns and they actually fantasize about killing anti-vaxxers and that's shockingly disgusting and very much well gee guys killing them that defeats the whole point now of your argument now doesn't it i mean you were so angry with them because of what with the choices they've made and such it's, first of all, completely inappropriate. And also, um, I know you're, you're angry with them and you don't just, you, you don't agree with what they've chosen to do. But at the end of the day, they are kind of gambling with their own lives. And ultimately, if they made the wrong choice about that, they were the ones who are going to experience that consequence firsthand. The first ones to experience it. So I'm thinking with that rationale in mind, I have to wonder, what's with all the hatred? Like, what's with all the hatred that's being rationalized? Like, how is it healthy to be hateful? How is it healthy to be hating your neighbors? And like, like you got to say, it's quite a um, dystopian picture here where... You expect absolutely everyone to toe the line and everyone to do exactly as you tell them to. Otherwise, you've rationalized hating your neighbors and your your fellow community members. What is that? And like, furthermore, why do you have this like such a hostile attitude in regards to the lockdowns? That's in the past. It's over. 
that was years ago. Why are you still talking about it? But there it is. In a modern video game. Made in this year. What? And like, holy shit. And then they all complain like, but if we don't stop them, they're going to get they're going to get sick, and then they're going to make other people sick. And I'm like, bro, but hating them is is not really a nice thing, and killing them defeats the purpose, so how can you rationalize any of this terrible behavior? And there are people still wearing masks even to this day, and I'm like, oh boy. Well, it's your choice to make. This is, uh, the gummies weren't spicy, but my talk about this certainly was, I suppose. Oh my. Just another food tasting video.